What's good, fam? Teacher Eddie here on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas here in 2021. I hope you got some good presents. And today, it's only fitting that I do ERB, Moses versus Santa Claus. So... Uh, Snoop Dogg's in this one, apparently. I had no clue whatsoever. And if anyone was ever built for a rap battle, hey, it's the capital S and yes, a fresh and double O P D O double G Y D O double G you see? Let's get into it. Moses! Santa Claus! Sweet robes, oh man, one too many days in the sun. Stop preaching, homie. Teach your flock to cover some fun. I bring joy every year, man. I represent cheer. You represent sandals and a scraggly beard. I'm from the North Pole. That's why my rhymes are so cold. I Ooh! Santa coming with it. I'm from the North Pole. That's why my rhymes are cold. Yeah, I like it. Sweet robes, oh man, one too many. I, I like to play on Obi-Wan. I'm a big Star Wars fan, of course, as you all know. Uh, Sweet Robes, Obi. Uh, so reference to Obi-Wan Kenobi, of course. One too many days in the sun. Uh, so referring to Moses' uh, skin color, of course, and also the fact that in the desert, uh, when uh, Moses was uh, forced to wander, uh, they weren't lost. They were wandering. A lot of people confuse that with lost. Uh, for 40 years uh, in his robes, obviously with the beating sun in the desert. Yeah, too many days in the sun, definitely. Days in the sun? Stop preaching, homie. Teach your flock to cover some... Uh, stop preaching, homie. So, of course, Moses was a uh, preacher in the sense that he preached the word of the Lord. Uh, teach your flock to covet some fun. Uh, so that's several of, of the uh, commandments. One of them is uh, thou shall not covet... Uh, thy neighbor's wife, thou shall not cover thy neighbor's uh, cattle, things of that nature, right? So you won't be won't be trying to covet all that, man. Stop coveting people's wives, too. Fun. I bring joy every year, man. I represent cheer. You represent sandals and a scraggly beard. I'm from the North Pole. That's why my rhymes are so cold. I like that line. I'm from the North Pole. I don't like the delivery, too. Uh, I bring joy every year, so of course, hey, it's Christmas. What does Santa bring? Santa brings presents, um, and he brings joy, whereas Moses, he's like, man, you don't bring no joy, man. What'd you do, man? You uh, you parted the Red Sea, but then you drowned a bunch of Egyptians. Uh, you got your homies wandering around for 40 years in the desert, man. That ain't right. Uh, and of course, Santa's from the North Pole. I spit diamonds, but I'm serving up some fresh coal. You been a naughty boy. You brought a plague of frogs. You best arrest yourself. You broke your own law. Damn, Santa's coming with the references too, man. I like it. I like it. That's why my rhymes are so cold. I spit diamonds, but I'm serving up some. So that's interesting. I spit diamonds uh, and coal. So that there, there's a few meanings here. Uh, so of course, if you're naughty, Santa brings you coal. Uh, coal under enough pressure can be made into a diamond. Uh, I'm spitting diamonds. Uh, obviously, he's referring to his rapping skills that, you know, he's not just spitting hot fire. He's spitting them diamonds. But also in, in the lore of Santa Claus, it said that Santa can make it snow, just like it's snowing around here, uh, by spitting diamonds. Right? So I like that, man. That was that was like a triple entendre there. Fresh coal. You've been a naughty boy. You brought a plague of frogs. You best arrest yourself. You broke your home. That's a great, man. Uh, you bought a, a plague of frogs. So uh, when Moses returns uh, to uh, Egypt and confronts the Pharaoh, uh, bringing the word of God, God is the one who said, let my people go. Uh, Moses was just delivering the message. And um, God then unleashes uh, several different plagues. Uh, he turns the Nile uh, red with blood. Uh, there's the, uh, there's, uh, uh, the frogs, as he mentioned, dropping from the sky, of course, culminating with the deaths of the firstborns, uh, no, not a good look there, God, uh, you broke your own law. So once Moses gets the commandments on the stone tablets, uh, if, if you're a fan of Mel, Mel Brooks and you ever saw history of the world, uh, Mel Brooks drops one of the commandments. I bring you these 15. And then one of the tablets drops, 10, 
Ten Commandments. Such a great scene. Uh, but uh, the uh, the Hebrews then began worshiping a golden calf, right, that they built. And Moses is furious over this, and he ends up breaking the Ten Commandments. Uh, so, yeah, you broke your own law. Uh, also, uh, Moses did break his own law because the reason that he actually leaves Egypt is because he killed an Egyptian while trying to protect a Hebrew. Uh, so that's that's a double one there. He broke the tablets, but he also broke Thou Shall Not Kill um, by killing. Oh, law. Oh, was there something in Rule 6 I didn't understand? My list says kill the Egyptian dude, buried him in sand. Yeah, so it's so, okay, okay, there he actually mentions it, great job. Uh, ERB, always doing the research, I love it. Also, you could say, you know, when Moses parts the Red Sea, uh, so his people can cross, then the Red Sea, uh, as the Egyptians are coming, comes down on them and drowns them, so you could technically say Moses killed them too. Uh, rule 6, referring to thou shall not kill, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't remember the order of the commandments, but it makes sense, of course. And yeah, he killed an Egyptian. Um, and then uh, he fled uh, Egypt. I read your book. You got a strict religion. No bacon. But mandatory circumcision. I'm a jolly bull of jelly. Give it holiday present. But yeah. Uh, look, I'm Jewish. For those who don't know. Uh, nobody wished me a happy Hanukkah. But a bunch of you wished me a Merry Christmas. I appreciate it, though. I love you, fam. I don't mind, um, but yeah, so he said, I read your religion, of course, Moses was a Hebrew, uh, so he's referring to Judaism, so we're talking about the Old Testament, or as Jews refer to it as, uh, Testament, yeah, that's, that's just it, we, 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 we're not buying into the sequel, right, uh, so no bacon, yeah, so Jews are not allowed to eat, uh, of, uh, animal with, uh, with, was it, the, 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 the paw, the paw, the hoof, the hoof. For my good fellas fans there. But yeah, no bacon. I eat bacon though, man. I don't give a fuck, man. I like Chris Rock said, I refuse to believe when I die that my diet is gonna come into question. But all the chosen people ever get for Christmas is jealous. Ooh, Snoop coming in, coming in already with the smoke. Santa, you don't want this smoke, man. Trust me, man. Look, man, the ERB has had some really great guest stars here. But literally, you got one of the greatest rappers of all time in a rap battle. Man, I don't know what Snoop's going to do, but I don't think it's going to be good for Santa Claus, man. Uh, but Santa had, uh, I'm a jolly bowl of jelly, so of course Santa jolly. Santa's a big man, big man with a beard, representing... Even holiday press, but all the chosen people live... The chosen people, don't be dissing on the Jews like that, yeah, but the Jews are referred to at times as the chosen people, sometimes in a very derogatory way. Uh, that's used okay, for Christmas is jealous. What they get for Christmas is jealous. Not really, man. Cause we got Hanukkah, man. We got eight days of presents. When I was high upon the mountain, God revealed the truth of the earth, but he never mentioned a fat ass Papa Smurf. He takes Oof. already man. And that flow, man, that unmistakable Snoop flow, that voice. He got the honeys in the background. When I was high upon the mountain, of course, referring to Moses being uh, at the top of Mount Sinai when he when he gets the Ten Commandments. But, you know, Snoop likes to get high uh, on that mountain as well. Uh, referring to Santa as a fat Papa Smurf. True. Uh, I remember there was one episode of the Smurfs where Papa Smurf was uh, referred to as Santa Claus. I think it was like a Christmas special or something. But they do dress the same because uh, Papa Smurf always had, that, always had that red outfit on. Uh, it's not yeah. rain dish to all your fat ass. You took the price out of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop. Your fat ass Papa Smurf. It takes nine rain dish to all your. <laughs> it takes nine rain dish to all your fat ass. Man, he ain't only just rapping, man. He do he playing the dozens too. Fat ass. You took the price out of Christmas and just added more mass. Damn. Oh, all right, Snoop. Snoop. Oh, Snoop. Snoop killing it. Uh, you took the Christ out of Christmas. Yeah, that's that's one of the big, um, you know, negativities uh, that people have with the whole Santa thing and, you know, the whole corporate uh, creation of the Santa Claus, even though it's taken from, uh, you know, old folklore and folk tales and traditions. But the corporate 
modern day version of Santa Claus with the red suit and all that stuff. They feel, you know, it's, it's taken, it's taken the meaning out of Christmas. Uh, I don't know, uh, you know, about the Christ part because Christ obviously was not, as most people know, born in December or on December 25th. Uh, but yeah, that he's taken, you know, the whole meaning out of Christmas and it's just become, you know, about buying presents and, and consumerism and all that stuff. Right. It takes nine reindeers to haul your fat ass. You took the price out of Christmas and just added more mass. And just added more mass again, man, going after the fat jokes and, eh, you know, I, I, eh, you know as a big man you know I don't, but you know i can appreciate it you need to stop breaking the houses and creeping them peeping on naughty kids body sleeping and keep your hands off my stop that flow man you need to stop breaking the houses and creeping them peeping on naughty kids body sleeping and keep your hands off my stock Ooh, keep your hands off that stocking man he may he making santa claus come off like like a pedo files I, don't, I can't say the full word, otherwise YouTube gets pissed. But you know what I'm saying, man. You be creeping into people's houses, man, staring at them naughty kids, trying to get naughty with them kids, man. Keep your hands off them kids' stockings, man. Don't you ho-ho me. Don't you ho-ho me. I split your ass in half like I did the Red Sea. You ain't a saint. You a slaver like a pharaoh in the snow. Stop with the unpaid labor and let my little people go. <laughs> <laughs> Let my little people go, man. I love it. Oh my God, Snoop is so good. Oh, oh, me. I split your ass in half like I did the red. I split your ass in half like I did the Red Sea. So where it talked about the Red Sea, uh, in order to get passage out of Egypt, Moses parts the Red Sea so his people can cross. Red sea, you ain't a saint. You a slaver like a pharaoh in the snow. Stop with the unpaid labor and let my little people. Stop with the unpaid labor, man. He's talking about the elves, man. Let my little people go. So, of course, that's a reference to the uh, elves because elves are depicted as little people. Uh, but it could also mean, like, the little people, right? You know, talking about, you know, all the people. Like, let my people go, man. The little people, man. The common man. The common folk, man. What you doing, Santa Claus? Oh, God. Please, ladies. Let's hand turn your brains to mush. I think you need to stop smoking all that burning bush. Yeah, we're magical workers, man. We hang with reindeer. Yo, here's a GPS. Who gets lost for 40 years? You're a glorified secretary, so write this down. We got these nuts. Santa Claus is coming to town. Eh... Uh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that was okay. Um, el el elves trying to come to uh, help out Santa Claus. They all like that nice tattoo that elf has. All that sand turn your brains to mush. Of course, referring to the desert. Turn your brains to mush. I think you need to stop smoking all that. Stop smoking all that burning bush. Of course, uh, referring to uh, Snoop liking to smoke. Toke that smoke, smoke that toke. You know what I'm talking about. And the burning bush is where Moses first hears the voice of God uh, in the form of a burning bush. A burning bush. Yeah, we're magical workers, man. We hang with reindeer. We're magical workers. They're like, man, we get to hang out with reindeer, man. I, I'm sure, man, you hang out with reindeer, man. You pay me my money. Yo, here's a GPS. Who gets lost? See, that's the thing, you know. They weren't lost for 40 years in the desert, right? You know, 40 years, you're going to cover a lot of ground. I'm pretty sure you can make your way out, right? They were punished by God to wander the desert for 40 years. Wander, not lost. So keep that GPS, son. For 40 years. You're a glorified secretary, so write this down. We got these nuts. I do like begat these nuts. Um... Your glorified secretary referring to the fact that Moses took down the Ten Commandments from God. So you're just a glorified secretary. Begat these nuts. Begat is a term used uh, a lot in the Old Testament uh, referring to the progeny of, uh, of uh, characters in, in, in the Testament. Uh, you know, Mo Sarah and Shlomo begat uh, Moshlinichen. Uh, and Santa Claus is coming to town is of course a very popular song. Santa Claus is coming to town, but you can begat these nuts. Is coming to town. So much drama in the Israel BC. It's kind of hard talking directly to the Gigo single D. God damn Snoop, Snoop remixing his old shit. Uh, 
So much drama in the Israel BC, it's kind of hard to- Israel BC, he makes it- That shit should not work for the regular person, or even like, you know, a rapper, but Snoop can make that shit- Israel BC, that shit should not work, but it does. Here, Snoop is referencing his song, Gin and Juice. Uh, with so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop D-O-double-G. So, so instead of so much drama in the LBC, he replaces it with Israel BC. In the Israel BC. Oh, BC also before Christ. Uh, wow, man. Intricate. Intricate. Kind of hard talking directly to the G-O. It's kind of hard being Snoop D-O-double-G. So he switches that up. It's hard talking to the Geo single D because Moses, of course, spoke with uh, God himself. Single D, hand me my chisel. I got a new command desert for y'all. Thou shall not let children sit on a grown man's lap at the mall. Oh, God damn. He had to throw in the dizzles there for shizzle my nizzle. Uh, so yeah, hand him his chisel, izzle. He's got a new command min nizzle. Uh, what does it say? Oh, I see ERB on, the, on that thing there. I can't make out the other stuff though. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, he, he's definitely trying to make Santa out to be a big ass creeper. Man, stop letting them kids sit on your lap, Santa. Stop creeping into their houses and peeping on them. I beat you 10 times before the bread can rise, you dummy, and walk off into the land of my milk and honey. I think we knew, we know who won. Uh, but yeah, uh, the bread rising, so that was a huge issue uh, when. Uh, the Hebrews were in the desert. Um, they they couldn't uh, make bread. Um, they couldn't leaven it. So uh, that's where matzah comes from. Um, so matzah is like the 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 flat bread that uh, Jews eat on you know you know just in general, but also on holidays as well. Uh, and of course Moses was taking his people to the promised land, which was referred to uh, as the land of milk and honey. But Snoop's like, man, milk and honeys, son. Honeys. Who won? That's it. I know it's Christmas. I know it's Christmas. I know it's Christmas. But uh, Merry Christmas. But Moses won this one is all I'm saying, man. But really, could anybody uh, stand up to, uh, to, to Snoop D-O-double-G? But anyway, fam, I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. This one was a lot of fun. Uh, just as a side note, I want to say thank you to everybody for all the support, uh, especially in this hard time for me emotionally and mentally that I've been going through this past month. Uh, all the well wishes. I, I just apologize that I haven't been able to respond to everybody individually. Uh, but it's been rough. It's been rough. And I just want to say that, you know, I, I, I have no words to say thank you for all the support for everything you guys have done for me, uh, personally being there for me, uh, taking an interest in my channel and what I say, and hopefully with, uh, you know, the new year come new things and we continue the trend. We continue to strive towards, uh, more subscribers, more, you know, great content, and everything else but i just want to wish everybody uh happy whatever holiday you celebrate if you don't sell up or celebrate a holiday that's cool as well but just know that teacher eddie loves you and thanks you for everything and i will catch you in the next video fam and shouting out the patreons as always you can join the patreons link is in the description patreon.com slash modern retro show starting with the chancellors alex s cuckles kiara john alonzo naval colt the principals tier addison lynn blue tech chad a chrissy clement freeman laura lord gandalf moody kakati nathan m quiet j rachel h rob n robin b and vidjandra i've been teacher eddie and i'll catch you next time